Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm here. I just went to the nail supply store and I bought some new stuff uh, that I just want to show you guys, do a little haul, and then I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you guys. I got um, pastel colors for Easter, for spring. I'm going to do a lot of um, spring sets, hopefully. And um, yeah, so here's the haul. So I got these tips. Um, Umberto actually ordered the tips for me off of Amazon. I left them in the cart, in the Amazon cart, and he just he he was gonna buy something, so he just went ahead and, and bought them. I wasn't sure if I was gonna buy them or not, but he ordered them anyways. And they actually turned out really good. They're the ones I have on right now. Um, they're pretty sturdy and. There, I like that they don't have a C curve, but I bought this. They came in a little, they came in little baggies. So I bought this little plastic container today at the nail supply store. So I add that to my collection of tips, and I bought these swatch sticks today. I am going to. Um, be switching over my I have all of my nail polish nail polish um, swatches on these little ones so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all my acrylics on these long stiletto ones just to make them look different I wasn't a big fan of these little ones so I got these, it comes with a whole bunch of them, like I don't know if I'll ever have this many acrylic colors, but hopefully. And then I got these scissors, sometimes I need to cut the tips like on the side or um, instead of using the tip cutter, you can use scissors. I didn't have any any scissors that were not curved, so I went ahead and I got these. Ooh, they're really nice. They're nice and heavy, so hopefully they last me a long time. Right, and then these, actually this one first. So these are uh, drops that you put into your monomer. So I would put it inside of, um, so I would pour some monomer into my dish and then I would add a few drops of this into it so that it doesn't smell um, I'm not sure how well it works I have seen mixed reviews saying it does kind of work it doesn't really work and then these are the colors that I got let me just show them real quick and then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them in the next clip oh this one was a little bit open oh my god it's filled to the very top So there's this pink. If you guys want the the color numbers, it's solid 182. My camera's starting to die, so I need to hurry up and do this. This is like a lavender purple. It's kind of hard. It doesn't show up that well on camera, but solid 241. There we go. This is like a yellow. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay. Ah, it's Philly. These are filled to the very top. These are um, two ounces. So it's a really good deal. I got these for $10. Um, 179 Solid 179 $10 each, I mean. This is a blue. Oh, it's really pretty. Imagine this ombre with a pink. Or also for like a gender reveal set. Have you guys seen how they, how girls will get their nails done for their gender reveals? They'll get like a pink and a blue. This is solid 128. So, a gender reveal 
would be cute with these two colors. Gender reveal set. A nice pastel, pink and blue. And then this one is like a, this is like a pistachio pastel green. All right, so I'm gonna go. All right, I'm back. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these drops into the monomer to see if it actually works. I'm using the nail prof um, monomer. Let's see, it says, it says place one or two drops of no liquid smell in a two ounce dappin dish before adding liquid. Oh my God. Okay. Let's see. I need to use a different one. Okay, so I'm gonna use that little one. So one to two drops. Alrighty, I'm back. My my camera died. So while I charged it, I kind of lost daylight. Hopefully this isn't too dark. Let me see. Hopefully this won't be too dark. Um, but I did want to film this today because I don't like stinking up my house every single day with monomer. So since I already have this all out, I want to get it done. Um, so I went ahead and I put the drops in here. And I'm going to pour some monomer. I kind of okay so I went on TikTok and I did a live in the meantime while my camera charged and um, I tried the drops so this is not my first time trying the drops I tried them a bit ago with um, TikTok live but um, I kind of had a have a headache now which doesn't always happen to me with monomer but these drops, they smell sweet. So I don't know if it's the smell of this mixed with the smell of the monomer that's giving me a headache. But yeah, we'll see. All right, so I am going to do swatch six. Oops. See, I have four, five. Hopefully the swatching goes better than it did. I also did these on TikTok Live. I'm gonna start swatching all of my color, my acrylics that I have. Um, hopefully, my camera focuses better than my iPhone does, because it would not focus at all. Okay, so let's get started. What color should I start off with? I'm thinking. Yellow? Let's go ahead and do yellow since the monomer is clean right now. Oops. Alrighty. And I have, um... It's a lot brighter than I wanted it to be. But... Oh well, I actually know, I think this is light enough for like a spring set. Would you guys consider this a pastel? See, I have air bubbles right there. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but i got to get rid of those. What happened? It's a me. You bit him. No. Just me. Did you bite him? No. No? Did he did she bite you? Yeah. Why is he saying you bit him? So this is why I kind of think twice about taking clients because my kids will have to be here. And then I mean 
I don't know. I feel like her client will be like here to relax, not to hear kids fighting. Uh, there's a little spot right here. Right there. See, this color is not pastel for me at all. Like, pastel for me would be this pink right here. Not this hot pink right here. So I was, I was, when I was, uh, I swatched these on TikTok, um, just like on the napkin. I was like, wow, like, I don't think I chose good colors. But, well, we'll see if people actually, um, want spring sets with these colors okay let's do green all right uh oh so I dropped it all right green Big bead. Oh yeah, um, so since I'm swatching them, I should give a review, right? I feel like these were, are really good for being $10. Um, the quality is there, it's not grainy at all. Um, there are some acrylics that come out like grainy because they're like used for dip powder as well but these are pretty good I don't I don't see like any grain to them they look they look pretty normal to me the the dip powders will be grainy and I hate that like it bugs me so they had another brand there at the the nail supply store that if you buy they had a like a deal going on if you buy five which I bought five but it was a different brand. If you buy five of that brand, you get one free, which is a really good deal. And they were only $8, as opposed to these being 10, right? Um, but I was looking at their swatches because they had swatches for that brand. I was looking at the swatches and um, they were really grainy. And I was like, nah, never mind. I'll pay the extra $2 for each one and not get free a free one oh well so out of the acrylics that they sell there they sell young nails there but i don't know if it's authentic i i had never seen young nails in a store um and i don't know if young nail sells at wholesale correct me if i'm wrong i i don't know but so i don't know if their stuff is um what's it called authentic but I would say Young Nails is the their top brand right there like the most expensive one <sighs> this is... okay oh well um, these are gonna get stuck okay um, yeah so Young Nails is their most expensive one obviously and then I think this is the next um, price pricey one And Chisel's a good brand. Um, I see a lot of um, nail salons use this brand. Okay, let's do blue. If any nail techs are watching, they're probably cringing at how I'm swatching these, but. Oh well. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at that big air bubble. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I found it, I found it. Okay. Did 
pick it up. Oh my god, I'm like way out of frame. Bear with me, this is my first um, nail video, nail related video. So hopefully in the future I'll get better. With the angles and staying in frame. There's the blue. Bless you. Bless you. All right, and let's do purple. Where's that swatch stick that I dropped? I just got a new one. All right, here's purple. This purple came out really dark. I wouldn't even call any of these pastel, honestly. I don't like how that's watching. It's like turning dark in some spots. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm gonna redo it. <clears throat> right. Maybe I should wet it. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I just realized I'm not talking. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that all these colors are not really pastel colors. Um, here it goes again. It's not. Am I doing this wrong? Mm. You guys see that? All right, one more. Try one more time. All right, let's see if I can make this work. I can already tell I messed it up see wherever I lay it down is where it'll be dark and then the rest dries lighter I think that's the best it's gonna get and this looks bluish maybe like periwinkle I'm gonna try one more time four times the charm <laughs> all right I'm gonna soak my brush all right 
pretty wet bead. Let's see if I can make it work. <laughs> I don't know where, where to place it because it just gets dark wherever I place it. So let me see if I can manipulate it by dragging it down. See? It's not working. Here, maybe I'll do another bead. That's uneven. Mm. Oh well. It is what it is. I'll accept it. Maybe once it cures it'll look more... See it looks like marbled. <laughs> so I'm not a fan of this color then. Alright, so that's how this one came out. That's the best it's gonna get, I guess. Alright, I'm back. Um, so I hate wasting monomer. I still have a little bit left. So I am going to do a swatch stick with a a blue ombre. Because I really like this blue. Let's see what it looks like as an ombre. Oops, I changed my light. There we go. All right, let's see what it looks like. Nice big bead. Oops, I dragged it down too much. I'm still a beginner, guys, so. Alrighty, so the blue is going on really smoothly. Um, I'm clean up the sides. Alright, let's go in with our nude. I have here Natural Nude by Nail Prof. Sorry if that was annoying. <laughs> That's happening. Alright. Let's go in with our nude. Here's Natural Nude by No Prof. I really like this nude. It's so pretty. Oops, I waited too long. Is it ombre on camera? Usually on camera it looks worse. It looks, um, I mean, usually on camera you can't tell it's ombre. You can see the, the first color in the, in the background. Let it slide down, feather it down. Feather, feather. Alrighty. It's looking a little bit better. <laughs> Alright. So 
This is a really high apex. <laughs> All right, so there's one ombre, one pastel ombre. I feel like the nude is uh, coming out really white on camera, maybe because of the lighting. But there it is. I would cap this in clear and then um, file, top coat, everything. But I mean, it's a swatch stick, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> But yeah, so that is my review on these um, chisel acrylics. Here they are. Um, they were a lot brighter than I wanted them to be. These are not pastel colors. Maybe the only one I would say was the blue. But so yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in my choice of colors. I really thought they were going to be more pastel but they're really vibrant um i don't know if i will go buy other ones just because obviously i already spent 50 dollars on these and i don't want to like return them either but it is what it is here they are and thank you guys for watching my uh swatch and review of the chisel acrylics. Bye!